I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to solve problems based on combinations when we are playing a card game. So, we will discuss the card game first and then take a few questions on the possibility of outcomes. The question here is, the card game Euchre uses only nines, tens, jacks, queens, kings and aces. Right? So, there are basically six cards, nines, tens, jacks, queen, king and aces. Six cards, four suits. So, there are 24 cards in all. Okay. Five cards hand is dealt to the players. How many euchre hands contain all red cards, two kings, at least two red cards, at least three queens? So, these are the questions for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions, right? So let's try to answer these questions one by one. So what we understand here is that in all, we have um, six cards, right? So we have six times four. Four are suits, so that is 24 cards. So out of 24 cards, we have 12 red plus 12 black cards. The first question is, how many euchre hands contain all red cards? All red cards. That is to say, we are actually selecting five and we have to select all five from the red cards. And red cards are 12 in number, right? So... How many should there be? So from 12, we have a hand of 5. So that is the solution. Perfect. The second one is, we need two kings. So there are only four kings, right? There are four kings. So out of those four kings, we have to select two. So for two kings, we should get from four, combination of two kings, but there is a hand of five so remaining remaining we have to get three cards from the remaining cards total is 24 four are kings apart from kings there are 20 other cards and we need three out of those 20 so that is two kings combination is that clear perfect c is at least two red cards at least two red cards so that really means that we can get two red cards three red cards four red cards or five red cards right so that that could be one way the the other way to do this is find total cards right so let's find the total so total of 5 out of 24 is, uh, from 24 the combinations is 5. This is total number of combinations. And from this total, let us take away, they are saying at least 2 red cards. So let's take away uh, 0 red card and 1 red card. Does it make sense to you, right? So. If I am looking for combinations where out of all, I do not want those in which there is no red card or there is one red card. So I'll get two of those. So no red card means we are selecting five from the 12 other cards, right? So take away this. That means, let me write down what it means. This means no red card right does it make sense so this means no red card and then all five we have selected and then we can also take away the combination that we have one red card right so that means one red card is selected from 12 and all others are black so times from other 12, we select 4. Does it make sense? So this combination gives you one red card. 
So from the total, if I take away these two, then I'm left with at least two red cards. Does, does it make sense? Is that clear, right? So that is how we should be doing it. Now the last one here is at least three queens. At least three queens means uh, you get three queens, four queens, or five queens, correct? So now we are looking for combinations of three queens, four queens, or, or all five. You can never get all five. So these are the two combinations. Perfect. So that is only two ways. So let's do this. Three queens means we have four queens in all, right? Right. So out of four, you get three. That means four C3. There are two other cards to be dealt since we are talking about a hand of five, right? So always the combination is with five. So two of these queens and out of the rest 20, we take other two cards plus. So that gives us three queens. Now let's go for four queens. So four C4, all four. And one will be from rest. So that becomes your solution for part D, correct? So I hope you have understood the concept. So my main idea is to make you understand the concept. Now we can always use calculator, find the answers. So we have 12 C, five as 792. So let me write down the first one as 792 for all red cards, 792, is it okay? Two kings, that means I have to get this combination, 4C2 and 20C3. So let's guess 4C2 times 20C3, and that is 6840. So the next one is 6840. So this one is 6840. Perfect. Then we have at least two red cards. So at least two red cards will go in with this combination. At least two red cards means total take away one red card and zero red card, right? So we have 24 C5 take away 12 C5 And then we take away, I mean, we have to multiply this, I'm sorry. Uh, let's delete. So, uh, yeah, take away, yeah. Take away 12C1, 12C1 times 12C4, 12C4, right. So that gives you 35772. So this one is... Three five seven seven two. Okay, the last one at least three queens. So at least three queens. Let's sum this up. How much do we get? So we have four C three times twenty C two. So we have four C three times twenty C two plus four C four four C. 4 times 20C1, 20C1, right? So that gives you a number which is 780, right? So that is how you can actually solve such questions. I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.